Rory, we're here at the GPA's um, student report for 2019 and basically the sense is that it is a juggling act and it's very hard to, to combine both your lifestyle, whether you're in college or whether you've started working, and also the inter-county activities. If you could sum it up, where, it's, where like how difficult it is for you to juggle that week on week, how would you describe it? Yeah, certainly the, the title of the report, the juggling act, kind of sums up what every student athlete is going through. Um, it'd be a shame for a student to have to pick one or the other. Um, there are other ways about it, and certainly that's what the GPA are looking into for us. Um, you know, trying to accommodate what we're trying to do is like basically two jobs nearly. You're trying to get your degree, which is ultimately most important because you know hurling will end at some stage, and you're going to work longer than you've played sport for. And then obviously trying to allow you to play your hobby um, in, in, the, in the easiest way possible. Um, so obviously in Dublin, um, in college, you're going to be travelling down. So training ultimately starts at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, you're down the road, rush hour traffic. You're hopefully getting to the training field at half six. Training will start at quarter past seven, half seven. Uh, Pre-season training could finish at half nine, quarter ten. And then get a bit of grub when you're back up the road, just hopefully before midnight. So, um, and then you might have a nine o'clock lecture the next morning. So, it's that kind of link that the G, like the GPA are, are providing for players uh, to be able to um, certainly to gather the, the information, the report, and then to be able to seek representation on the, the higher education committee and and to try and make things easier for student athletes. Do you think in the long run, continuing the schedule that you would have week on week, is it sustainable for another, like you're what, about 21, 21, yeah. 21. is it sustainable for another 10 years for you, do you think, the way it's going? Um, I'm not sure, it's, it's a difficult question. I, I don't think inter-county careers can get any more professional uh, at amateur level. Um, it's certainly taken the most as I can at the moment for people you can't really juggle much more yeah. um, certainly a student life you can kind of pick and choose your hours so like I can stay up till 2 in the morning doing an assignment if it was due at 9 o'clock but ultimately you have to be in work at 9 o'clock in the morning and you have to do your hours and stuff like that um, but as is it sustainable it's certainly a difficult question to answer but that's why the GPA are trying to make it as efficiently as possible for us can I speak to you about Wexford's year? Do you reflect on it and think, that was brilliant, we won Leinster title, or do you think about the Tipperary game and say we were five points up, we were a man up, and what might have been? Yeah, well, you've just mentioned a the nightmare there anyway, every night. Um, it's funny for us as a team, once we won Silverware, there was just a click, and it was just like, don't care about any other matches or anything like this, we're here to win, we don't care about getting moral victories. And I think it took us to climb the steps of the stand to, to bring home a cup and, and see what it means to the people of Wexford, even though we knew how much how passionate the county is. But um, there's definitely a sense of, you know, obviously ultimately get over our Leinster group next year. But, you know, we want more silverware now and, and we kind of see why you were playing in that sense, because you want to bring, bring cups on. I did a poll uh, before the start of the Leinster Championship saying who would win it. 7% of people did Wexford. I'm pretty sure you were referencing my poll in an interview you did later on. Is that, am I right? Yeah. Uh, look, you're, uh, it, like in Harlan Games, um, just looked at Dublin. We drew three games in Leinster. It was Kenny, Dublin, Galway. And if we had got, a, if we had got one point win, so that, they're the small margins. So what I'm saying is that if you can find any little edge to get your team up to win these games and see anything, it's not like we're, we're looking at social media, but if you can see anything like that you're being, you're not rated in, in the Leinster Championship, stuff like that, that's going to help um, to, to motivate you or to certainly grit your teeth for pre-season training to get you up and, and to try to win it. Um, so, thanks, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, Davy staying on? Because I would have thought, if he leaves now, this is the real wrong time because the age profile in your team is great. You've got you know, the likes of Chin and Matt O'Hanlon, and a few guys like that will say mid to late 20s, a lot of guys like yourself and others that are kind of early to mid 20s. It would feel like the real wrong time to break it up. Yeah, uh, I, I even chatting, going down the car to train, and you'd be chatting to uh, Matt and Liam McGovern and, and D O'Keefe, and, and they'd even mention kind of the stand now that are set and that I've known nothing different myself Damien Reck, Connor Furman um, these lads like we're, this is the first inter-county experience we've had so regardless of when time moves on like this is what we're known to now and this is what we have to set ourselves to so regardless of whatever managers in the dressing room if you're not setting these standards for yourself um, you know you're not going to achieve what we achieved last year and and then about with Davy staying 
you know, we wanted the same man to bring us, you know, if we were to get another manager, sorry, he's the only man that would probably bring us another step. You know, he's brought us from um, to, to win and uh, to, to beat in top six teams, you know, consistently now, uh, league and championship, and, and to bring a bit of silverware home. Um, it, it'd be kind of silly not to think that he wouldn't bring us to, to further. And do you think he can kick on to that next step next year? Well, that, ultimately that's the plan. Um, but like I've, I've heard a lot of interviews after the All Stars and lads talking and saying like it, it's a new season. Like this time last year, Clare were in All Ireland semi final, drew with Galway, um, and and ultimately didn't get out of their group in Munster. So it could be the exact same as us. We could lose all those drawn games um, this year. Um, we could have ultimately lost them and been out of the championship early, and we could have been off to America, you know, yeah. stuff like that. So you just don't know. Everyone sets out to win, win the big one. Um, so it's about maybe how we'll manage manage us and how fresh we'll be for a championship. So thanks very much, Rory. No